How much are buyer closing costs for a townhouse in New York City? We'll demystify this topic in the following video. I'm Nick at Houseit. Visit Houseit.com to learn how to save money. If you are looking to buy, sell, or rent in New York City, Long Island, the Hudson Valley, or South Florida. So let's get started. So how much are buyer closing costs for a townhouse in New York City? Well, your typical buyer is going to pay anywhere from two to 4% of the purchase price in buyer closing costs when purchasing a townhouse, also known as a brownstone here in New York City. Now, closing costs for a townhouse in particular are largely driven by two specific items. The first being the mansion tax and the second being the mortgage recording tax. As a result, your closing cost bill depends on two associated factors. Number one, the purchase price. The mansion tax itself is a progressive tax structure with many different tax brackets. Therefore, the higher your purchase price, the higher percentage you will have to pay for the mansion tax. As a result, to reduce your buyer closing costs in New York, you could potentially spend less money and you'll fall into a lower mansion tax bracket. The second determinant of your closing costs, of course, is whether or not you're financing. And that's because the mortgage recording tax certainly is only applicable uh, to people who are financing. And going further, certainly the size of your loan is what determines the amount of your mortgage recording tax bill. If you're putting down 85% and financing 15%, a very insignificant amount, your mortgage recording tax bill will be very low. But if you are financing 95% of your purchase, of course, the loan size will be substantial. And as a result, the mortgage recording tax bill will also be meaningful. So to go into extremes, if you end up, say, buying a townhouse in New York City that's under a million dollars, if you somehow manage to discover something like that, they do exist, by the way, but not in the areas that most people are considering, such as Brownstone, Brooklyn. But let's say you find something that's under a million and you're paying all cash. In that case, your closing cost bill will actually be significantly less than 2%. You have no mansion tax because you're below a million and you have no mortgage recording tax because you're not financing. Now on the flip side, if you're buying a substantial townhouse, let's say a five or 10 or $15 million type of property and you are financing a fair bit of the purchase, let's say you know 70%, you're gonna have a massive closing cost bill and that's because you're paying a very high mansion tax percentage and of course you have a substantial mortgage loan size uh, which will translate into a high mortgage recording tax bill. So the third buyer closing cost for townhouses that is meaningful is title insurance. Now this is not something you can avoid. You have to get title insurance. Everybody gets it, whether your purchase price is a million dollars or $28 million, or if you're financing or not, it doesn't matter. You have to get title insurance. Now title insurance costs anywhere from roughly 0.4 to 0.5% of your purchase price. It is an insurance premium, it's a one-time payment upfront, which protects your property, your title, against future claims uh, by somebody who may have potentially uh, had a claim to your property but failed to come forward prior to you purchasing. So that co closing cost cannot be avoided, 0.4 to 0.5%. It'll of course be a little bit higher if you are financing because then of course there needs to be a title insurance policy for your lender as well. So that'll bring it up a little bit. And there's also this thing called the market value rider. It's an optional additional component of title insurance, which basically allows the value of the insurance policy to float in line with the market appreciation over time. If you do not purchase the market value rider and somebody makes a claim against your title in 30 years, your insurance policy will only cover your purchase price. It will, it will not give you any credit for the 30 years of appreciation that happened thereafter. So in our opinion, you really do need to buy the market value rider, and it's very inexpensive relative to the total cost of, of title insurance. So just to summarize, the three largest closing costs for townhouses in New York City include the mansion tax, the mortgage recording tax, as well as title insurance. Now, outside of these three main ones, you have a few other incidentals. For starters, you have buyer closing costs associated with your attorney. Your attorney charges usually a flat fee in New York City of a few thousand dollars, which includes contract review, buyer uh, due diligence, as well as the closing itself. But relative to the typical purchase price of a New York City townhouse, 
a flat fee of you know three, four, five-ish thousand dollars is pretty much insignificant. Now, outside of attorney fees, of course, you have other you know various incidental type fees. For example, if you're financing, you will have a loan application fee, you'll have an appraisal fee. Those are usually around seven hundred and fifty dollars to a thousand dollars each. You'll also have the fee for the uh, bank's attorney, the lender's attorney that you pay for as the borrower. And uh, you also have various filing related fees for your mortgage. Other types of miscellaneous type closing costs also include recording fees for your actual title and some fees associated with your title search. But the collective amount of these random fees is extremely insignificant relative to the first three closing costs that we've mentioned and the typical purchase price of a townhouse in New York City. We hope this video was helpful and of course if you want a more specific estimate of your buyer closing costs for a townhouse in New York City, you can actually use our closing cost calculator on houseit.com. It is extremely thorough, interactive, you can change various parameters based on your purchase, purchase price, percentage down and so forth to give you a rather accurate estimate of your buyer closing costs. But just to reiterate again, it's only an estimate. We are not um, you know, attorneys, we're not accountants, so it's really just for illustrative purposes only, but it should point you in the right direction. And certainly, the main way uh, we can really help you if you are buying is to help lower your closing costs through our House at Buyer Closing Credit Service. This is a very easy way to save up to 2% of your purchase price uh, by way of working with one of our buyer agents in New York City who has agreed to provide you with a substantial rebate of the commission paid to them by the seller of your property. So you can learn more by visiting houseit.com or give us a call 888-494-8258. I'm Nick at Houseit and we'll see you on the next video.